The Mikoyan MiG-29, also known as the Fulcrum, is a fourth-generation twin-engine air superiority fighter aircraft. It has an impressive production and export track record, with over 1,600 units built. The MiG-29 exhibits outstanding agility and remarkable maneuvering capabilities, whether operating at low or high speeds. While the MiG-29 is a capable fighter aircraft, it does have certain limitations including limited range, takeoff weight capacity, and less effective radar systems. Some people have argued that the MiG-29 was a failure because it was not as successful as the F-16 Fighting Falcon, which was its main competitor. However, the MiG-29 was never intended to be a direct competitor for the Falcon. It was designed to fill a different role as a short-range air superiority fighter. In the late 1960s, the US Air Force started the FX program to create a specialized fighter for air superiority. This led to the production of the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle in late 1969. In 1971, the Soviet Union decided to develop two types of fighter aircraft. The advanced frontline fighter, known as the PFI, and the advanced lightweight tactical fighter, known as the LPFI. The PFI was designed to be a heavy, long-range fighter, tasked with the more exotic and dangerous role of conducting deep air-to-air -air sweeps of NATO's high-value assets. The LPFI was intended to be a smaller, lighter fighter to replace the MiG-23 in the frontal aviation role. The Soviet Union's PFI and LPFI programs were similar to the US Air Force Lightweight Fighter Program, which resulted in the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon and the Northrop YF-17. The PFI program was assigned to Sukhoi, which produced the Sukhoi Su-27, while the LPFI program was assigned to Mikoyan, which produced the MiG-29. Detailed design work on the MiG-29A began in 1974, and the first flight took place on the 6th of October 1977. The pre-production aircraft was first spotted by US reconnaissance satellites in November of that year. The fulcrum shares significant aerodynamic features with the flanker. The air intakes of the MiG-29 tilt inward, while the air intakes on the Su-27 are vertical. The Su-27 had the Soviet Union's first operational fly-by-wire control system, based on the Sukhoi Design Bureau's experience with the T-4 bomber project. The MiG-29 uses hydraulic controls and a SAU-451 autopilot. The MiG-29 cockpit has a conventional center stick, left-hand throttle, and a Zvezda K36DM ejection seat. The cockpit features traditional dials, a head-up display, and a helmet-mounted display system, but does not include a hands-on throttle and stick system. However, the upgraded models feature a glass cockpit with an LCD multifunction display and hands-on throttle and stick functionality. The MiG-29 OVT is a modified version of the MiG-29M fighter aircraft that was equipped with fly-by-wire control system. The MiG-29 OVT took its first flight in 1991 and served as a testbed for emerging technologies. It was also demonstrated at various air shows to showcase its capabilities. However, the aircraft was not officially produced in large numbers due to its high cost. The Fulcrum is powered by two Klimov RD-33 turbofan engines. Each engine produced 18,300 lbf with afterburner. The MiG-29 can achieve a maximum speed of Mark 2.25 at high altitude and Mark 1.45 at sea level. It has a service ceiling of 59,000 feet. The MiG-29M is powered by the RD-33MK engine. The RD-33MK is an updated version of the RD-33 offering 7% more power due to modern materials used in the cooled blades. The MiG-29 OVT was equipped with RD-133 thrust vectoring engines. These engines enable the aircraft to control its direction in all three axes, enhancing its maneuverability. The MiG-29 has a limited range. It can travel up to 930 miles on its ferry range without external fuel tanks and 1,300 miles with them. However, its combat range is only 370 miles. The MiG-29M offers a slightly extended range, all MiG-29 variants except the MiG-29A have air refueling capabilities. The Fulcrum is equipped with the N019 radar capable of detecting fighter-sized targets at a range of up to 80 kilometers. This radar system can track up to 10 targets and guide four missiles simultaneously. The N019 radar is an advanced version of the Sapphire 23 ml system, first used on the MiG-23 ML.
The MiG-29 is equipped with a 30mm autocannon with 150 round capacity. The fulcrum features seven hardpoints capable of carrying payloads of up to 4,000 kilograms. The MiG-29K boasts eight hardpoints, accommodating payloads of up to 4,500 kilograms. And the MiG-29M takes it a step further with nine hardpoints, capable of carrying up to 5,500 kilograms of ordnance.